Welcome back. With us as always is Sports Information Director for North Central College, Clark Tusher. Clark, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for having me. So the women's volleyball team, they were denied a share of the conference title as they get swept by the ninth ranked Blue Jays at Elmhurst. Uh, yeah, you know, it's always disappointing when you put yourself in a single game situation like that and, and you don't come up with the result that you wanted. Uh, certainly not a time to get down for them, though. They've got uh, four games at Benedictine this weekend. Two of them are going to be against nationally ranked programs, and then they've got a, a play-in match for the, uh, the conference tournament on Tuesday. So uh, certainly a lot of opportunities for redemption uh, here in the short term. And you mentioned playing game at home next Tuesday against Wheaton College, but they were able to beat the Thunder 3-1 on uh, Wheaton's home court. So it's looking pretty good for the Cardinals to get in. Yeah, Wheaton's a team that's been playing pretty well lately, but uh, we seem to match up pretty well against them. Uh, you know, you're playing for a, a spot in the conference semifinals and possible rematch uh, with Carthage, uh, who they lost to early in the season. So uh, certainly a lot on the line still. And another team that's hoping to make a push for the playoffs, the men's soccer team, as they get a big win on senior night, 4-1 to one over Concordia, but they got to take care of business against North Park if they want to get in. Yeah, they've played very well in conference play. The three losses that they've had have all been by one goal, including a, a double overtime loss against the team that's right now in the driver's seat to win in Wheaton mm -hmm. College. Uh, you know, they've got a, a game against North Park. They played North Park the last game of the regular season last year as well and, and beat them to deny North Park a conference championship. So certainly uh, uh, a big game circled on the calendar for both teams uh, and being that it's being played uh, Saturday night of homecoming weekend uh, here at North Central, we certainly would expect uh, a large crowd to support them in that effort. Yeah, hopefully the homecoming crowd will stick around. But there's a lot of teams behind the men's that have a lot of ties. How much do you think those will come into play with the tiebreakers? Uh, well, if they win, none of them will because uh, <laughs> they'll, uh, they'll have a winning record in conference play. Um, you know, if they end up coming away with a tie, you know, they're still in pretty good shape. Uh, so certainly uh, uh, going to be a, a lot of focus on, you know, just like there is every, every game about just winning the game that at hand mm -hmm. and uh, letting the rest of it take care of itself. Yeah, sort of take care of your own business. And another team that's got to take care of their own business against North Park is the women's soccer team. Is They're right in the thick of it, too, it seems like. Uh, yeah, you know, they've had a, a couple of games that were a little out of hand in conference play, but most of them have been pretty close. Uh, there's been a lot of t games that have ended in ties on the women's side this year, which kind of jumbles up uh, some of the uh, scenarios for the postseason. Uh, you know, coming up against a team in North Park that has struggled a little bit this year, a team they seem to match up pretty well against uh, if they're able to... Uh, to continue to, to play well defensively as they have most of the season, uh, they should be in pretty good shape. And you know, first year head coach, Bonnie Young, this would be huge for her if she can get her program into the tournament in her inaugural season. Well, they've had a conference tournament to determine the automatic bid for the NCAA championships in the CCIW since 2002, and North Central has never played in that tournament on the women's side. So uh, certainly uh, would be a remarkable turnaround for a first year head coach. Well, hopefully they can make it there. And one team that's used to being in the conference race is the men's cross-country team as they go for their 39th straight CCIW title this weekend at St. James Farm. Oh, yeah, that's a great thing that we like to point out and publicize. But unfortunately, after this amount of time, it, it becomes less newsy. <laughs> uh, so it's People good, are just used so, to it now. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it's certainly the, the team and the coaches are not a, a group that's going to take that kind of success for granted. They really feel a lot of uh, responsibility to keep that kind of a string going. Uh, they're very uh, fired up to be able to go and, and reclaim that trophy. This is the time of the year that they uh, have, have peaked for and, and planned for. Uh, and now it's time to go out and reap the rewards of all the hard work. And on the women's side, they came away with a second place finish in their home meet last weekend at the same course. But they didn't run any of their top runners. Hopefully we'll see some of those top runners back and as the women's team tries to make a little noise in conference as well. Well, they've won the last three in a row. Uh, so certainly uh, they've got a, a streak of their own that they're trying to protect on a course that they've run on uh, quite a bit. Uh, it's a very different team than the one they've had uh, the last couple of years, a lot of new faces, uh, but uh, certainly it's a very similar philosophy to the men's program in terms of, of peaking for the championship meets. Well, Clark, we wish all the teams the best of luck as they make a push for the playoffs. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. The Cardinals hope to keep up their winning ways at homecoming on Saturday against the 20th ranked Illinois Wesleyan Titans. Kickoff set for 2 p.m. If you can't make it to Benedetti Worley Stadium, you can catch all the action right here on Channel 17 in Naperville or streaming live on nctv17.com. I'm Mark Dahlquist. We'll see you next week on The Red Zone.